So the next thing to do is to actually sync the keyboard with the iPad. So it's fully charged, you switch your iPad on, unlock it, go into settings, click on Bluetooth, switch the Bluetooth on and it will look for the device. Now you have to press, switch the keyboard on and you have to actually press the Bluetooth button in order to start syncing. Now you're going to need to use a pen or a pencil or a paper clip or something like that to do that. So it's just like so. We'll try that again because I hadn't pressed it correctly at the time. There you go. And you'll see it appear, the Zagmate. And it says not paired. So if you click on that, with your, well, click on that, you press on that with your finger. Sorry, so used to saying click. It'll give you a code to type in on the keyboard. So you just type it and then press enter when you're ready. And that's it. It's now connected. can't really do anything there on that screen so if we come out of that let's fire up Safari so now what we can do is we can select the URL and we can type something in. Can't see it very well on the screen so I apologize but there you go and it's simple as that. And there you are, it's working fine. There are some other buttons on the keyboard, some specific buttons. They're called special function keys. Um, there's a home button, which will take you back to the iPad home screen, just like that. There's a search button, it'll bring up the search, and you can just type something in there. And come back out of that. There are other buttons that are functional dependent on what you've actually got on your iPad. You can actually uh, blacken the screen and make it come back on again if you wish. And you can also toggle between different keyboards if you've got them set up. So if you've got UK or US.